Hello, cats. My name is Will, and welcome to Cat the Corner, where we left off. Oh, wait, I didn't want to save. I wanted to change the video game. Where, yeah, where we left off, we were. I don't want to go to weapons. I want to go to magic restoration. And I think I. Yes. Where we left off, we were fighting some crap. I think we were helping the guy out of the ratways. I think. I don't exactly remember because the deal was I fought a dragon in an unseen episode. Um, well, and the deal was um, try. I'm trying to. I was running, and you know you got to press Alt to run. Now the deal was I also tried to open up my inventory, so I Alt tabbed out of the game. Of course, the game doesn't like that very much. So, I ended up with a cut in the game that I couldn't reload. It froze up. It was a mess. So, now, I am back here, which I'm not arguing with. Um, I took a big enough break from the game to uh, have fun here. Which I would have had fun here anyways. You know, you know, it's just it's how it works. Um, it's a fun game. Okay, we hold. What do you need? Anything else? No, I don't. There we go. Just trying to grab all this undisturbed. Which apparently that's too much to ask because they think I want to do favors. No, I want to pick up the gold. Thank you. So if I, eh. Search chest. But yeah, um, uh, it's going to be up tomorrow, I think. According to, yeah, as of this recording, um, I am going to start two new series tomorrow, Saturday. You'll probably have to watch them on Sunday, but um, it's going to be Half-Life and Borderlands 2. Hayes and I are playing Borderlands 2 together. Um, yeah. They both, I think, tur have turned out really well from what I've recorded so far. I haven't had any trouble, um, which is always a good thing, I would think. If you're having trouble, you might be doing something kind of wrong. As far as I can tell, everything has gone hunky frickin' dory, and there is no major problem with it. I just need to make an intro for Borderlands 2, which won't take that long. I just need to find a good scene of maybe me dying or getting close to dying. I don't know. But, um, the Half-Life series, uh, that, that goes up as maybe my number one game I've ever played. Um, it's Half-Life 2. Now you gotta remember, I grew up around Valve games. Um, my dad played Counter Strike when I was a little kid. Um, we he would sit us on his knee and we would play that. Um, Jake actually got into video games first, and because of that, I think he kind of thinks he's much better at them, which isn't true because if you've seen these, yeah, I die a lot, but that's because it's kind of hard not. Is that a bat or something? Oh no, it's a pretty pretty. <laughs> I killed and ripped off its wings. <laughs> I'm a seal killer. But um, I think Jake and I we've kind of Jake honestly thinks that he's a lot better at video games than me. I think, though, if you were to ask him, he'd probably be like, "No, I don't think that at all." But he does. I get the feeling. Um, where do I gotta go? I don't care about you. I'll do what I want. I got a scratch in my nipple. Okay, I guess we gotta go through here, maybe. No, it's, it's a room. It's a room. Yoink! I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but, uh, hey. I'm there for a reason, I'm sure. Potion making, I think. Activate. Activate. But, um, yeah, I... The, the first game I ever played, I think, was um, Gary's Mod. 
Now, the reason behind that was, at the time, that was the big game Jake and I were playing. And, um... Oh, it, good thing I didn't hit him. <laughs> it's Esburn. I want to kill him. But, um, the big reason I played that was because it was kind of a game with no rules. You didn't have to follow any particular, um, way of doing things. Like, you, if you wanted to make a flying scientist, you could make a flying freaking scientist. And I think at the time, the kind of Lego idea of you don't have to, you make the rules, you, um, do whatever the frick you feel like. Well, it was really popular for me, um, and it had all the, like, physics and the, uh, basic game mechanics that Half-Life has, because it was built off of Half-Life by a different company, uh, I mean, it has the Half-Life feel and stuff, so, after that, what do you need? I, I don't want your help else? out of my way, I want you out of my way. What's the hurry? I'm right behind you. I need you to do something. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, wait over there. Okay, got it. Anything else? Good. Okay, he's out of my way. But um, yeah, and then I think I moved on to like Half Life, and I played a little CS. I th no, I would. I played a little bit of Half Life, and that's when I got um introduced into. TF2. Um, I think the first, like, multiplayer game I played, um, net was maybe TF2, because that had, it was a very easy game. Well, it wasn't easy, but, um, that definitely got me introduced to the, um, not everything you're gonna play is gonna be you owning it up. Um, and that kind of taught me that lesson. It also kind of taught me how to manage inventories, I think. Why am I doing this? I could just fast travel. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. But um, it also introduced me into managing of inventories, the kind of working with other people, which I still need to work on, actually. Um, if you, I'm actually not very good at that. I'm not the greatest at TF2 by any stretch of the means, but um, I do like to think I am good at it. Um, not the best, obviously. But hey, this whole video, holy crap, I've been talking about that for eight minutes now. I'm in, pfft, it's this whole terrible commentation. I'm sorry. Uh, I just couldn't think of anything else to talk about, I guess. Um, I'm still talking about it. I'm, I'm the best at commentation. Now I'm trying to fill in fillers. Ooh. The best. Hello, Seven. Seven. Sarvin. Service over harder. Now I'm gonna try and. My favorite drinking buddy. Oh, there you go. Okay. I guess there wasn't really much to commentate on this because this was mostly me walking around. <laughs> it's good to see. But hey, you know, now you know a little bit about me, and now I got into video games. Too long. Yep. Well. Um. But yeah. Uh. Made it safe and sound. Good. Mm-hmm. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orknar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. But yeah, um, this way. I don't know, Half-Life and um, Borderlands 2 series, which is going to be good. I hope you'll enjoy them. I, there's no reason for you not to. You should subscribe right now. <laughs> Do it. Do it and I'll find you. I will find you. I will shove this mace up your butt. I'll pull it out and it'll be messy. Go, Esbard! Go! Go, Esbard! Go! Hurry the frick up. Go! Holy crap. Let's see what Esburn has to say. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball, indeed. Yes. Huh? This changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate this. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esburn, what... Uh, does that do anything? Ah, huh. alright. Give me just a moment. Now, Map of Dragon Burial. Ooh. Come, let me show you. you see, right here, Sky Haven Temple. What are you looking at? Constructed around one of the What are you looking at? 
Well, I'm going to end the video off right here. Thank you, cats, for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. Sorry about the commentation. This video was kind of crappy. It was just kind of me droning on. But, yeah, thank you, cats, for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. My name is Will. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.